Going to the game is just one way to watch UH football this season. Tanya Joaquin has a look at the alternative options. Tanya? Joe, that's right. From television to the internet, Warrior fans are covered. The pay-per-view option is probably the most popular at $380 for Oahu residents for the season package, $55 to $65 if you buy individual games. It's about half this price for neighbor island viewers, and the package includes other UH sports. It does help the UH, you know, in terms of exposure, helps people get behind the team, which is what we need this year. And then uh, in the end, it, it, it does help UH with their, with their budget issues. The TV contract is worth $2 million to the university. And there's a lesser known option for viewing games in its third year live streaming internet video. Hawaiian Telecom site htsportsnet.com has signed up 10,000 subscribers so far, 60% from outside of Hawaii. For a single sport like football, it's $39.95 for the season, $9.95 per game. And by the way, about 30,000 people are expected to catch the Warriors take on Northern Colorado the old-fashioned way in person Saturday night at Aloha Stadium. Tanya Joaquin, KHON 2 News. Guidant Corporation, which sells implants. Keep you doing, everybody? Let's talk sports. Oh, yes, college football is upon us. And this Saturday night, the UH Warrior football team opens the 07 campaign against Division I AA Northern Colorado. There are some unofficial lines out there that have the Warriors favored by 60 points. Even then, Hawaii says it's taking this opener very seriously. Until you do it in games, until you gain that game confidence, uh, you know, you just never know. And we've got to be sharp from right out of the box because uh, this game is very important to, to make sure we do things correctly. You got to be careful with teams like that because they really don't have nothing to lose. That's probably how they see it, you know. And we're, you know, they might think that some guys are overlooking them to La Tech or, you know, down the road or BCA, you know, all that stuff, you know. The media tries to throw that, throw that at us, but we got to focus on North Colorado. I'm pretty sure they're not coming out here just for vacation in Hawaii. But at the same time, you know, they're, they're, this is an opportunity they probably never experienced, so they're going to come out here and try to make the most of it. You know, I've had these type games a couple, two or three times since I've been here in Montana. Portland State, uh, Florida Atlantic, and we're, we're one for, for three, so they better be ready to play. It's going down this weekend. Hawaii and Northern Colorado kick off Saturday night at 6.05 at Aloha Stadium. And if well, I know that they're, uh, you know, coming going to come over here and do everything they can do to win the game. They got nothing to lose. I anticipate we'll see a lot of, you know, fake, you know, this, fake that, reverses, uh, onside kicks we'll, we'll get all that kind of stuff which is good because you know you got to know how to handle all that stuff as a team i hope you're all having a pleasant evening hawaii head coach june jones talking about division one double a northern colorado uh football's teams the season opening opponent saturday night warriors are near 60 point favorite against the bears who won one game last year home teams got his sights set on the WAC championship and beyond so there's no room for taking anybody lightly Upsets happen every year in college ball, every year in all kinds of sports, you know, and, uh, you know, that's the last thing that, you know, that you want to overlook, you know, is a team that, you know, uh, record-wise record, record -wise last year that you was better than, you know. We got to take care of business, but, um, you know, no matter what, you know, everyone respects W's, and uh, that's all we got to focus on, or just whether it's by 100 points or by 5 points or 1 point, doesn't matter. We just got to win the game. We don't really know what they're going to do. That's the one thing. They have 30 days to practice for us, and we got some film from last year, but they'll always have something new uh, when they have that long to practice. Kickoff just two days away, and hopes for a better home crowd keeps building. At last check late this afternoon, 33,300 tickets have been distributed.